Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Gregory Martin, aka The Super Producer, and we are back with another video. But before we get into the video, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It keeps you guys notified whenever I post a new video, and also gives the channel um, a little bump. Uh, with that being said, let's just jump right into today's content. And as you guys can probably tell, the background is a little bit different. Um, I actually move into a new place. Probably mentioned to you guys maybe a few months ago that I was in the, in the market for a new um, apartment. And I kind of finally pulled the trigger on that and uh, kind of settled on this place. And you know, this is now my new office slash studio. Uh, you see I have my posters up. Um, I'm gonna fill these walls with a couple more of my posts, my movie posters. I'm still kind of getting used to the space and and uh, deciding what I need and kind of figuring out how, you know, everything that I want in the home office. So far, it's been good. You know, the move has been really good. I've been I've been in this place for about like a month, almost a month. Well, it'll be a month. And, you know, um, it's been a very interesting process. I mean, everyone knows moving is a very stressful time for people. Actually, moving into the apartment is pretty easy. Um, I have some people um, come help me and we, they made that process really smooth for me. But then came just the waiting, you know, waiting for my, uh, my, my deliveries, you know, with the whole thing with the virus going on, packages and things have been a little bit slower uh, just because places like Amazon has focused on getting material to the essential workers, which is, you know, much needed. Um, so yeah, so I, it felt like, you know, it, it took like a three or four week process for me to get all my furniture in. Well, most of my furniture in. Um, get my living room set up, getting my, my kitchen, getting all my areas, getting the office set up to a point where now I feel content where I can uh, uh, create in a space that is, uh, you know, just conducive to that. You know, uh, I just didn't want to jump on here and, uh, you know, create a video in the empty room. I didn't have internet at the, at the time, so I got, I got my internet. So I kind of felt human again. Um, and so now here we are. I am going to get back into my regularly scheduled uh, programming where I give you guys movie reviews, uh, trailer reviews, one, once trailers come out, uh, vlogs like this and also my uh, producer tips. Um, I, I will definitely get back into doing all that stuff. I do have a backlog of some uh, stuff I want to uh, get up on on this platform, but I think uh, more than anything, I probably do, I probably just reshoot them uh, uh, in in this space, and uh, and uh, it, may, it, it may prove to be a better video. Uh, who knows? But I'm going to definitely be getting back into uh, giving you guys uh, regular content um, going forward. Besides the new apartment, I do have some you know really exciting news. Um, I actually just participated in the online uh, virtual can film festival um, I know I told you guys months ago that you know um, I think actually right around early March I was actually preparing for the Cannes Film Festival to travel out to France and um, you know support my movies that are that were screening there and then also bring some new projects um, uh, there as well that for me can has always been kind of a uh, a platform for me to launch new uh, projects uh, and so you know this virtual can uh, was going to be no different and I just have to say you know before I go any further that you know the the organ organization the organizers of this festival, the Cannes Film, Film Festival. They also organize the, the virtual Cannes Film Festival. Um, I, I, I got to tip my hat to them. Uh, they did a, a really great job. Um, you know, they had like a few months and for them to be able to pivot to have a, a market, uh, I have to commend them. They, they did a great job. Uh, the platform that they used to, to host the market was really good. You were able to connect to, you know, to buyers, to uh, distributors, sales agents, producers, you could find projects. They had conferences, they had um, happy hours, like virtual happy hours. Um, they, had, they had it all and, and, and they, I, I couldn't have asked for a better um, experience. Um, you know, I, I had no idea what to expect when I signed up. For me, I, I felt like it was very a, a very low risk, risk uh, proposition. I had already paid for my accreditation and you know uh, the, the the online virtual experience was maybe a, 
a quarter of that cost, why not just participate and see what happens? If anything, it's just, you know, a couple hundred bucks I'm out of and, um, you know, who cares? Um, but I, I will say I was, I was highly impressed, not just from my perspective. I think um, a, a lot of individuals, companies, uh, producers, just the industry in general, we're very happy to get back to some type of normalcy uh, to talk about the business um, of, of movies and uh, you know and, and just it, it was just good to to get back to doing something uh, constructive after having you know a three month break from from doing thing doing anything meaningful uh, you know I, I still feel and a lot of people feel the same way that we're still probably maybe to the end, maybe at the end of the year, close to the end of the year, maybe early next year is one things from a from a production side will get back to complete normal. Um, I, I know I spoke to different film commissions um, um, around the, around the world, and just to kind of see how they were pursuing or well, how they, how what what kind of rules and uh, regulations they were putting in place for for people to to film safely and. Yeah, it's, it's cool to see that these companies, that these countries are opening up and people are actually can go film. But uh, it's I, it's, it's one, of, one of these things where, I, for me, I feel like I don't ever want to be the first one to do something, especially in this climate. And I, I, I got that same sentiment from a lot of other people that we're in a kind of wait and see pattern to see what of what what you know what people do how successful it is um how they how people manage it and then you know probably take some form of that and maybe add something to make the, the experience better and safer uh, because at the end of the day that's what it's all about you know we want to make sure that we're able to create these films uh safely in this new climate um and there's a lot of different things that you know go into that you know the economics of movies are going to be a little bit more uh pricier um just because of um uh, insurance and, and bonds speaking for myself i'm not going to even attempt to push anything into production uh this year i want to look more at uh probably the middle of next year um, at the earliest. Um, uh, other than that, you know, the festival, the, the online can was uh, was uh, really good. Definitely found some really great people that um, I plan uh, on following following up with and, and potentially hoping to work with. I, I just hope next year we can do this in person. Uh, we can have drinks on the on the croissette, you know, uh, at the Petit Le, Le Majestic or, the, or at the Grand Hotel, you know, some rosé. In the south of France, you know, never hurt anybody. So I, I'm really looking forward to following up with these with these uh, meetings I had, and hopefully next year we have a Cannes Film Festival, uh, a physical Cannes Film Festival that we can attend. Also, before I forget, we screen my film Women. I don't know the results yet. Um, I haven't spoken to my my sales rep, my, my sales rep at the time, but I know we had two screens. We had one on this past Tuesday and one on Friday. Uh, the, the word uh, that I heard was that we had a lot of eyeballs on the screener, which is really good. The final screener looks really good. The sound design looks really good. I'm, I'm really proud of this film. And, you know, hopefully next week or in the coming weeks, I have some news for you guys uh, to, you know, let you know where I've sold the film uh, and where we can we can uh, look forward to seeing the film in the coming upcoming months or you know or, or weeks weeks or months uh, sorry down the road. Also, uh, Benji the Dove major major news on on that film. Uh, I I don't have the exact date, but I've gotten word that we will be, be getting a U.S. distribution later this year. I don't know on what platform, um, but you know I will let you guys know once that is available. I know people have asked asked me about that uh, partic particular film, and it's been uh, it's been a very tricky film. We had we had like you know various setbacks in the distribution of the film. So hopefully, with you know the the changes that we made, uh, we we are able to screen the film uh, in the United States, and hopefully that is a springboard for us to get more. Um, uh, more eyes to see it overseas. So, you know, fingers crossed. 
And um, like I said, once I get that news, I will definitely share with you guys where to find uh, women and also Benjamin Dove. And that's it for me, guys. Um, uh, thank you guys for watching the channel. Um, I'm back. Um, look, look forward to uh, uh, new content that I'm creating. Other than that, guys, uh, like I said, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys on the next one. Deuces.